Huh? Huh? Hi. I'm back. What do you guys want to talk about when he pees? Want to guess the time on the timer when he comes back? 2.37. Oh shit. Can't look. That was a quick piss. I, um, I regret to say that I probably have a little bit of, uh, after pee in my shorts right now. Because I rushed back. Yeah, I, I should have maybe taken a little bit more time. I'm really starting to feel it now. Like cats. Bro, there's a, dude, dude, there's a documentary that I was put on a couple weeks ago called Don't Fuck With Cats. I thought it was like a, like a pet cat documentary. Bro, that shit was dark. That shit was fucking gritty. That shit was fucking sinister. That shit was amazing. Mario. I, I highly recommend it. It's like a, it's a thriller, bro. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a caper. It's a, it's an investigative documentary, bro. It's about a fucking killer. I, I don't, a serial, yeah, I guess he's a serial killer. Dude, shit's crazy, bro. I, I didn't want to watch it. I, I saw it on my recommended. Dude, I saw it on my recommended a bunch, but I, I literally thought it was about like pet cats. And like how you live with them and shit like that and how they fuck you over if you mess with them. But dude, no, 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 no. This shit is so dark, bro. It, it'll, it'll piss you off. It pissed me off. That shit's good. That shit had me. That shit had me fucking... Like, minute five, that shit had me. I watched the whole thing. It's like, I think it's like four episodes. They drag it out a little bit. Uh, it's It starts very fast, and then it slows down, which I don't like. But there's enough substance there to keep you glued to the screen, bro. It, it's good. It's good. It's me, Mario. If you, if you like that kind of shit, it's that's all Netflix is now, right? Every every fucking Tinder bio you see, love chilling out to psychological thriller documentaries on Netflix. Love serial killer documentaries on Netflix. Uh, documentary binging currently Netflix. Crime capers on Netflix. All these bitches. They're all the same, bro. They're all the same. And it was exactly a Tinder bitch that put me on. <laughs> uh, I fell for it. I'm glad I fell for it, though, because it was so good to watch. It was so good to watch. Now, now I'm going to put it in my Tinder bio. Now I'm going to put that shit on my Tinder. Open up my networking capabilities. I'm so quirky. <laughs> Dude, wait a minute. I'm talking about myself now. No, no, I didn't have that in my Tinder. Bro, I wish I could tell you guys my Tinder, but it's a small world, man. <laughs> I wish I could tell you. <laughs> uh, it's a small world. The run has arrived. Thank you, VAJ, for bringing the runs with you. Appreciate it. And I'm not talking about your diarrhea. <laughs> Yes. How desperate? Dude, so I think Tinder was like the last resort like four years ago or something, right? That's when I got it. When I realized I was hopeless, I got it four years. I was like, I felt so guilty. I felt like such a fucking loser. But now Tinder is like number one. Bro, if you want to find a date, that's prime. That's where you go. Tinder is like the priority. It's the best spot to find a date. Literally. Because there's so many people on there, bro. There, there's gonna be two or three people that like you. You just gonna have to swipe for a couple years. I, I, I mean, go use your own experience. You gotta swipe for a couple days. You'll find the role. You'll find the right one. I met my GF through a mutual friend on Discord. That is not good, bro. That is not good. You should leave immediately. I, I know nothing about your life, dude. But you're... When you talk about relationships and discord, I think twit longer. Bro, get out. Get out while you can, man. You will get fucking canceled. Get out. Get the fuck out. Don't talk to anybody. Do not involve yourself with anybody you know through the internet. Do not. Don't do it. Don't talk to anyone. Don't talk to any girl on the internet that knows about you and your Twitter handle and your Twitch. Don't do it, bro. They never end well. Every breakup turns into a twit longer. And then somebody is painted as like 
this absolute asshole because of a normal relationship. Most relationships end badly, bro. Yet, on Twitter, somebody has to get destroyed. Don't do it, bro. Don't you fucking do it. I am warning you. Don't do that. No matter what. There's a lot of girls in the world, dude. There's a lot of girls in real life. There's only like two on Twitch, right? Amaranth the Pokemon. Don't talk to them. Don't do it. The girls are out there, dude. Not, not here. Not here. We're here to support our boys here, bro. Like, that's what we do here. I'm not here to find my future girlfriend that's gonna get me canceled. Fuck that. Fuck out of here with that. Dude, that's a mistake. I'm telling you, it's a mistake. It's me, Mario. Don't do it. Oh yeah, there was a girl in my chat yesterday. Oh, that was cute. Well, so they said. So they said. Dude, you act like I don't know that 98% of girl Twitch chatters aren't guys in disguise. Just because there is such a drop off. There is such a disparity between the guy to girl ratio on Twitch. You know, somebody's gotta make up. Shout outs to those guys, man. Shout outs to those warriors doing it for us. Is it, isn't it sad how like paranoid I am about that shit? Hey, dude, I'm par- dude, it's scary, man. It's scary because, I mean, it's none of my- First of all, looking at a twit longer, I don't do anymore. But you know when the cancel culture thing started, right? Everybody had a twit longer. Everybody. Everybody had a twit longer. So obviously you're reading through them, and obviously some people did some extremely evil shit, and they deserve to be canceled, right, first and foremost. But dude, there were some twit longers that looked to me like just another relationship, and somebody was an asshole, or both of them were assholes. But you have to side with somebody, and one person got dragged through the mud. And I'm like, nah, no thank you, bro. No thank, I don't even read twit longers, because it's none of my business. It's none of my business. But I will not ever put myself in a situation. Fuck that, dude. There are plenty of women out there, dude. Plenty. You guys don't believe me, dude. I'm telling you, dude. There are so many girls out there that would like you. You just have to have the balls to walk up to them, bro. That's half the battle. A lot of times you get rejected, yes, but you take experience. And you get more comfortable around them, dude. You like men? Walk up to men! Grab them by the dick! They're, men are a lot more forward with shit like that, dude. It's even easier with men. Just grab the dick. They like that shit. Trust me, I am one. Each reject- exactly. Each rejection is- yeah, exactly. Before you know it, you've gotten more comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if you don't want to, you do the same thing, right? As long as you're not brain-deading it, you're getting better. You don't even know. The only place where hard work doesn't pay off is, is speedrunning. I swear to fucking god, dude. It's the only place in the world.